Hi there, this is Jennifer McGuire, and I've been wanting to share this video for some time, but since distress markers were hard to get your hands on for a while, I decided to hold off and wait to share them until they were available again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use distress markers to create a colorful background like on the card here. There are many things that you can do with distress markers. This is just one of them, but I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. So I have this great background from Studio Calico and Hero Arts. It's a lattice background. It just seems to work with any style of card. And I'm going to stamp it on some watercolor paper. You don't really need to use watercolor paper for this technique, but I recommend it because it gives a lot more depth to the color and a little bit of texture too. So I'm going to ink up this background stamp with Versamark ink. Any embossing ink would work. And I'm going to stamp this onto the watercolor paper. I use the smooth side, but you could use the texture side if you'd like. And just press it all around. I'm actually using a background that's a little bit smaller so that it'll fit on the front of a note card. So after I've pressed this around, I'm going to go ahead and shake on some white embossing powder. I use the Hero Arts white embossing powder. That's my favorite. So I'm just going to shake it on and heat it up till it melts. Now I've got my distress markers here. I go. I went ahead and uh, got the whole set because uh, I knew I would end up loving them. But you can buy individual colors. Maybe start with individual colors um, that you tend to use the most. Um, they have them for all the different distress uh, mar distress inks that are out. And there's also this special white distress marker, which I'll show you in another video. It's just incredible product. So, anyways, you could start with individual markers, or you can go ahead and take the plunge into the big set. Um, I'm I find that I use all the colors and uh, mix like to mix them up so this set made the most sense for me. So I went ahead and picked out some colors that I want to use on this card. You can see I have this embossed background here. The reason I started with an embossed background is so that it kind of keeps the colors separate when I color them in. So I'm using the brush tip on the distress marker. There's also a fine tip and I'm just quickly coloring in this pattern. It may seem like it would take a long time but I actually did it pretty quick. It only took me about five minutes, especially since that white embossing kind of resists it, so it makes it quick and easy to stay in the lines. And I'm just going to do kind of a rainbow effect, mixing different pinks and reds and then move on to oranges and yellows until I've covered this whole front of the card. Now you could see that this would be really hard to do with an ink pad, and thus the distress markers work really well. So here's a closer look at me doing some of the coloring here. You could use other markers for this, but they, would not, they wouldn't give the great blended effect when we spray this with water. Distress inks react with water and give a really nice blend when, you, um, when they come in contact. So I have a mini mister of water here, and I put in a couple scoops of this Perfect Pearl Pigment Powder so that when this dries, it'll be nice and shiny. Now when I spray this, I'm gonna spray it quite generously, as you'll see here. I'm gonna let it puddle up. So what will happen is these colors will kind of blend together a little bit and kind of soften. So it ends up going from just the harsh marker coloring to more of a paint coloring or a watercolor look. So you could either let this dry on its own. I'm kind of dabbing away where I put a little bit too much water. You don't have to do this part, but um, for some reason I decided to do it, just dabbing a little bit away. You could let this dry on its own or use a heat gun to gently um, hurry up the drying. Now you'll see you'll get these great dimensions of color. If I would have left the perfect pearls out and just used plain water, it would be just as beautiful. You just wouldn't have the shine. So it's totally up to you. And now I'm going with a baby wipe after it's dry and wiping away any white embossing that had color that rested on it. So you can see this gorgeous shine you get from this background. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim this a little bit because I didn't end up needing the whole length of the card. And you can see the fun that you get with mixing these distress markers and letting them blend with water. And here's a closer look at the pearlized shine that you get because we put the perfect pearls in it. But again, you could have used just regular water too. And the distress markers really work well for this technique. So next I'm just going to do some embellishing on it. I've got this Hero Art Studio Calico stamp set. I love this little Miss You greeting here. I really like to find greetings that are kind of tiny so they fit into small spaces and this one's perfect for it. And I just stamped it onto white cardstock with my favorite Hero Arts black ink. And now I'm using the Fiskars trimmer with the wire guide to trim this. I can see that where exactly where I'm going to cut with that wire guide makes it really easy to trim it to the right size. Now before adding to this, this to the card, I wanted to show you, I trimmed off the side of this. And I have this little extra strip. I wanted to make the card a little bit smaller just for fun. And the nice thing is that little strip that I had left over, I can save that for another card. So get two for one here. Now to do the little um, banner edge here, I just do a cut down the center and then I do two diagonal cuts to meet it. You could also use a square punch for this also. 
so I get a nice little banner edge. Just a little adds a little interest to a basic greeting strip. So I've added some foam dots to the back and I'll just place this onto the card. Now after I've put this on here I decided I needed a few embellishments on it and I tried some colorful buttons and it just kind of took away from the background so I decided to do these black hearts and they're nice and shiny and I did this using the memory box die. This is a border die of a bunch of hearts but the nice thing is, is when you die cut a bunch of these you end up with a bunch of little hearts that are great little embellishments to scatter on your card. So I'm running through this, this through my die cut machine. You could use any die cut machine with these wafer thin dies. They're very easy to use and you end up with all these tiny little hearts. I just think they're fabulous. So I'm going to cut some little foam dots to be small enough to fit on the back of these little hearts and add them to my card. I'm using the thin foam dots which are 1 16th of an inch thick and just cutting them kind of tiny to fit on the back here. Now the white was a little too bland so I decided to go ahead and put some of this black enamel accent from Ranger on top of it. It's kind of like glossy accents but solid black. So you just squeeze it right onto the heart just to cover it. It covers it real easy. And when you let this dry, you end up with this little bit of dimension that's really nice shiny black, which is a nice contrast to the white and the colorful background. Now this black enamel accent actually comes in a pack with white too. So I could have done white enamel accents on this if I wanted to. So you can see how easily that goes on. And you can kind of gently flick it from the back to make it settle nicely, but it usually settles on its own. And you get this ni these nice rounded hearts. So there's a closer look at the great shine that you can get with these distress markers and pearlized water and there's the distress marker background. Now there are a lot of things you can do with distress markers and I'll be sure to share a few more. If you have any questions please visit my blog at jennifermaguireinc.com and we'll see you again soon.